Welcome everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. This is our very first Snack Pack. Very short five minute episodes covering an awesome topic. So I'm gonna jam a bunch of stuff into the Snack Pack. And today, we're gonna to be talking about Android emulators. So when we wanna actually develop our Android applications, we have a few options when it comes to getting it onto a device or to an emulator. And when we're on a PC, uh, we've installed Xamarin. And with that, we get the Visual Studio emulators for Android. So let's just hop right into Visual Studio and take a look at a few different emulator options. So here we are. I don't even have Visual Studio open just yet, but from on my actual desktop, when I've installed Xamarin and installed Visual Studio, I get the Visual Studio emulator for Androids. These are Hyper-V optimized emulators for all different API levels of Android. Since they're powered by Hyper-V, they're super fast, and they're touch-enabled since I'm on a touchscreen surface. I can slide this over, I can tap on this little plus arrow, and I can simulate a bunch of different events, such as accelerometer, location, battery, screenshot, and camera. Now, when I'm inside of Visual Studio and I'm inside of an Android application like I am here, we'll see that all of the actual emulators that I have installed are show up right in the debug menu. So if I want to debug right to this uh, emulator here, I sele select it, hit debug, and it'll start right on the emulator. We always recommend the Hyper-V uh, emulators for Visual Studio, because like I said, they're super fast and powered by Hyper-V. Now let's say you're on a machine that doesn't have Hyper-V, or you want to experiment and use a lot of Google Play services. Uh, so we can hop over here and I'll show you uh, some different areas. Uh, so if you don't have the Visual Studio emulators for Android, you can install them right here separately. It's a separate install, anyone can use them. Now, Google emulators ship in one of two forms, either an ARM emulator or an x86 emulator. And these are powered by the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, Haxum for short. Now, this is an additional install, but what's really nice here is that the Haxum will enable the Google Android emulators to be super fast, powered by uh, virtualization technology. So as long as your hardware supports the virtual, virtualization technology, you can install Haxum and then run the official Google emulators uh, for Android. Now there's a downfall here that the actual Haxum emulators, um, x86 ones, don't play nice with Hyper-V, so you have to pick one or the other. Now once you install Haxum, you can come in and under Tools, Android, you'll see that there is an Android emulator manager. And that will open up the official emulator managers here. You can create a new emulator and then go through this little dialog box. So when I say new emulator, I can select a specific device that I want. And then I can select a target. And then we'll see that I have the Google API's Intel Atom x86. Uh, those specific images are downloaded separately. So I can select one, select different memory options, and use the host GPU, that's very important. That way you get fully optimized emulators. Now you may be wondering, well James, you know, I looked at the, the, fish, the, the Microsoft Visual Studio emulators and all the images are here and I can download them from here. How did you get them to show up inside of this actual dropdown that we have? So I'm gonna actually see the Google APIs here. Well, that actually comes in in a different area. If I go again into Tools, Android, SDK Manager, this is gonna pull up the actual SDK Manager for Android. The first thing I always do is always hit deselect all, so nothing is installed for me. And then I can scroll down, and under Android 6.0, 23, we can see that I have the Google Intel x86 uh, system images, and I can download the versions that I wanna show in, up actually in the emulator manager. And this is super convenient, so you don't install everything because they can be very big, but you can then install additional ones like Android Wear or Android TV emulators. So those are the two spots inside of Visual Studio. You either want to go with the Visual Studio emulators or the Google ones powered by Haxum. Now let's say you actually want to get it on a device. So I have a device here, actually a, a Nexus 6 device, uh, and that is actually showing up already inside uh, a Visual Studio. But how did I get it there and how would I actually mirror it onto my screen? Because you can obviously use a real device. So if we hop back over here, I use a screen mirroring application that's, there's a free version and a paid version called Visor. It's a Chrome extension, so it works on Mac, PC, or on Linux. Uh, you can get it anywhere. 
uh, and you just download it as an extension. So when I launch Visor, it's a desktop application built on Chrome. We can actually see my Nexus 6 here. I can go ahead and say View. And what this will do is it will connect to my Nexus 6 and give you a one-to-one -one screen sharing of my actual device that's right here. There's additional settings for different uh, resolutions, but you can even touch and drag on the actual PC with your finger, or you can do it on the device. This is super nice when you want to use an emulator or go to a physical device, but still get it on your desktop. You can have that device sitting and tethered somewhere else. Now, to get this to actually show up inside of um, Visual Studio, I had to go into Settings and put it into Developer Mode. We can see at the bottom of Settings, there's a Developer Options right here. How I got that was to go into About Phone, scroll down to the bottom of the version number, and tap that about 10 times. That will put your phone into Developer Mode and unlock the Developer Options. Then you can enable USB debugging. So a few things there to get your device connected right there into Visual Studio. So you put in USB debugging, make sure that you have any of the drivers for that device installed, and you're good to go. Now that's on the PC where you have a few different options and can even tether a phone. You can use Visor on the Mac as well, uh, or on Linux, like I said earlier, to put that device over. But what about if you're using Xamarin Studio on a day-to-day -day basis? What are the options there? So let's hop over to our Mac really quick to see what the actual emulator experience is there. So let's take a look. Perfect. So here I am inside of Xamarin Studio. Now, when I actually have an Android application up, we'll see the actual emulators that are here. So for instance, I have the Android Accelerated x86 and an ARM v7a from the drop-down menu. These were installed for you automatically when you installed Xamarin on your Mac. You can get to these from Tools Open Google Emulator Manager. Now, on the Mac, you can go ahead and install the, the Haxum, uh, same Intel drivers that I showed you on the PC are already installed for you with Xamarin Studio when you installed it on your Mac. Because uh, there is no Hyper-V on the Mac, you just can just install the Haxum. And that's where we're going to see the Android accelerated ones here. You can hit debug and it'll automatically launch it for you, or you can just open the uh, AVD manager, the Google Emulator Manager, hit start, you can scale the size like you would uh, whatever to you want, and then hit launch. This will go ahead and launch the actual Android emulator right here. Uh, and it only takes a few seconds because it's powered by x86. So it's going to take the full advantage of your machine. So here it goes, it launches up, and we'll see that it probably launches in under 10 to 15 seconds, which is super nice. Now this is going to give you some diagnostics, and we can just hit close, and we can go ahead and minimize that. Now, this is the newer Android uh, emulator from Google, but again, it's super fast. So when I tap on this and scroll up and down, it's super crazy fast. If I actually hit this little triple dot, this will pull up some extended controls, very similar to what we had over in the Visual Studio emulators. So you can mock out battery, phone, direction pads, things like that, or even a fingerprint, and go into different settings. So there you have it, our very first Xamarin Snack Pack episode, seeing how to use Android emulators from Visual Studio, whether they're the ones from Microsoft, from Google, or using your physical device with Visor, and of course on your Mac with the official Google emulators, or of course with Visor and your physical device. Hope this has been awesome. I'll put some links in the show notes, and this has been The Xamarin Show.